He was a king whose empire was so vast that the sun never set on his dominions. But what drove this powerful monarch to launch an armada against England? And how did his reign shape the course of history? This is the story of Philip II of Spain. Philip II, also known as Philip the Prudent, was born on May 21, 1527, in Valladolid, Spain. As the son of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, and Isabella of Portugal, Philip was destined for greatness. From a young age, he displayed a studious and grave demeanor, far beyond his years. His education was rigorous, combining formal schooling with military training. By the age of 16, Philip's father appointed him as the Regent of Spain, thrusting him into the responsibilities of leadership early on. When Charles V abdicated in 1556, Philip II inherited the Spanish throne, along with an expansive empire that included the kingdoms of Naples, Sicily and Milan, as well as the 17 provinces of the Netherlands. His reign marked the zenith of Spanish power, influence and culture, a period often referred to as the Golden Age. Philip's marriage to Queen Mary I of England made him the legal king of England and Ireland, although this union was short-lived due to Mary's death in 1558. Philip II was a passionate Catholic and saw himself as the defender of Catholicism against Protestantism and Islam. His military campaigns were numerous and crowned with varying degrees of success. While his efforts against Protestant England, such as the ill-fated Spanish Armada in 1588, ended in disaster, his campaigns against France and the Ottoman Empire were more fruitful, solidifying Spanish dominance in Europe and the Mediterranean. Philip II was not only a warlike king, but also a clever administrator. He centralized power, moved the capital to Madrid, and oversaw the construction of the grandiose El Escorial, which served as a palace, monastery, and royal mausoleum. Despite his successes, Philip's reign was also marked by financial difficulties and numerous uprisings in his territories, particularly in the Netherlands, where his harsh policies sparked a long and bloody rebellion. Spain flourished culturally under Philip II. The arts, literature and music flourished, supported by his patronage. Some of Spain's most famous artists and writers came from this period, contributing to the legacy of the Golden Age. However, Philip's legacy is complex. While he expanded and defended his empire, his reign also laid the foundations for its later decline. Philip II died on September 13, 1598, in El Escorial, after a long battle with cancer. He left behind a vast empire and a mixed legacy that would influence the course of European history for centuries to come. His son, Philip III, inherited the throne, but he lacked the wisdom and determination of his father, which ultimately led to the decline of Spanish power. Philip II of Spain, a king of great ambition and far-reaching influence. His reign was marked by great triumphs and significant failures and left an unforgettable mark on history. But what lessons can be learned from his life and reign? Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned to Era Shapers 